Hi, it's Wendy Michelle Thompson. If this is the first time we're meeting, I highly apologize. Today's topic is why you should be batching your videos. If you couldn't tell by the thumbnail or see right here, I have an eye infection. I got this, oh, I noticed around Christmas time there was a little bit of discharge coming out of this eye. It really wasn't hurting. It happens from time to time since I wear contacts. So I didn't give it too much thought. I typically always batch my videos. And I told you guys that I would give you my YouTube tips for growth as I grow my channel from zero to wherever it goes and I thought this is the perfect one to nail something straight in. Guys, look at my eye and I'm going to bring the camera a little closer to it. This is probably the best it has looked since New Year's Day. Now, thankfully, New Year's Eve, I did, I recorded 14 videos. And I do that because I have a Time with God series. That is a very consuming series since I'm going cover to cover in the Bible. The other videos that I do are just placed in here and there as I get an opportunity and they are to be they are to be playlist series as well. I told you guys from the very beginning that I would let you know about my YouTube growth, the things I learn, the things you should do, the things you shouldn't do. And just because I do have so much content that I need to come up with constantly with the Time with God series. I always have at least, at the very least, seven of those videos done. I have the thumbnails done ahead of time. You just never know when something is going to come out. You may come down with some kind of illness. Of course, we've had this COVID going on. It seems like it's been going on forever now. What is going on a year towards the end of next month? But my family basically has stayed quarantined in the house. We hardly ever go out unless it's a necessity. And with me being a nurse, it seems like the older I've gotten, the more of a germaphobe I have become. I am so into washing my hands constantly, wearing gloves for everything, um, keeping the antibacterial stuff in like every part of the house. Let me tell you. So I am very careful with applying my contacts. I clean them constantly. I, I probably overdo it, if anything. So, yeah, I noticed New Year's Eve, like, when I was recording those 14 in a row, that this eye was really starting to burn in water. And I was having to stop, you know, pat the eye down. And I'm like, good grief, what is going on? Well, my big idea was, okay, I'll work until about 10.30 and then have the New Year's Eve thing with my husband and my youngest daughter. And then I knew Todd would have to go to sleep because he had to get up early the next day for work. And I was going to continue to work during the night and get some editing done and make sure... I think I had three videos up January 1st. So I, you know, I'm just like a type A person when it comes to that. Guys, this, if anything, shows you why you should be thinking ahead of time what all you want your content to be for at least the next five videos. 
a lot of people will put up one video a week. In my case, I sort of put myself in a position to where I need to put up at least seven because if someone wants to hear the Bible each day, then there's a chapter each day. What I really push myself to do is to have at least two up a day in case something happens the following day. You never know if all of a sudden your family's going to get the stomach virus. That'll take you out for a couple days. Who knows? Or my father-in-law lives with us and he's had horrible health. You never know if he's going to have to be rushed to the hospital or something. And I just sort of plan everything for the future. Just not knowing what can happen. This I literally I cleaned it really good and I put a caution at the very beginning of the video um, you have a weak stomach I cleaned this eye out right before I got on camera and maybe it's been five ten minutes look at it it has pretty much been glued shut. This is the most I have seen it open. And what, today's the 4th of January. I have been sleeping like crazy, which is something that I typically don't do. Guys, know and plan your content. Always have something stuck in your back pocket that you can put up if you have a family emergency. Something happens with one of your kids. You get sick. Um, something requires your attention that you did not expect. It just comes up out of the blue. You know I love you guys. If I will get on camera and show you this horrendous looking thing and yeah this eye was acting like it was gonna do it but it didn't thank god I, I pray it stays good <laughs> and I have of course had to wait for a doctor's appointment because everything was closed for the new year's holidays so I have a doctor's appointment at 3 30 today I cannot wait Oh, by the way, if you guys couldn't see my shirt, give me a kiss. It's one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh my gosh. If you haven't seen his stuff, he does ghost hunting. I, I, I love, love, love his channel. I'll be talking about him soon. But I do, like I said, I support YouTubers that I love because they have given so much to me and they really gave me the big push and the incentive of wanting to do my own channel. Um, just while we're on that topic, the next two we plan on doing, Zoe is going to do one with me and we're doing one on Bailey Sarian. We absolutely love her. Not too long ago she reached 3 million subscribers and it's just so cool when you see someone that you just love their content so much and you see them rise above just so quickly like yeah she's been doing YouTube for a while but this murder mystery makeup Monday series of hers just really had her channel take off and and since we really started watching it together, we're doing that video together. We also got one coming up on Andrew TMI. Oh, I love him. He is funny. He always makes me laugh. And, you know, of course, I'll be doing one on Omar, Omar pretty soon. Uh, JP Sears, Pierre XO. And then just some of my favorite creators that have helped me grow, like Nick Nimmin and, oh goodness, Sunny 
We'll introduce the, I'll be doing one on her. That'll be all coming up. Can't promise exactly when, but also I'm doing the ladies chat time and the exercise and fitness and nutrition and different things thrown in with that. Some more fun and lighthearted videos. But guys, take a good look at this. If you get anything at all from this, batch your content. Start planning out your content. Know what you're doing for the next month. Even if you only do one video a week, one every other week, you just don't know when it's going to come in handy. You should have seen me trying to edit my video last night with one good eye and this one completely glued shut. I'm sure it was hilarious, but it wasn't that long of a video, but it took me a long time to edit it. I mean, I have really gotten pretty quick at editing, and I never thought I would say that, but considering I have put up over 70 videos just since I put my first one out September 20th, I guess you get pretty good at editing and quicker at it. I love you guys. God bless your today, all your tomorrows, and hopefully the next time you see me, I'll look normal again. <laughs> Big hearts. Subscribe. <laughs> love y'all.